will be focused in creation of asymmetric axes rather than Cartesian option. That is a non-orthogonal axis. In first place, we have cylindrical coordinates that comprises a radio, angle, and height. For the radio, we can start, for example, with a position from origin, that is zero. We can choose a number of repetitions of four and a distance of one meter to get a narrow space. Click the button Add. Likewise, at the Angle tab, we have a position to I choose 19 degrees to create a quadrant with three repetitions, that's one, two, three, and a distance of 30 degrees. So that quadrant gets divided into three equal parts. Then, with this last tab, we set the height or Z of the cylinder. Number of repetitions could be three, the same distance of one meter. Click at the bottom. And finally, when we apply these parameters, in order to see them, we can see the distance radio over here. That is the four repetitions, one, two, three, four. And the 90 degrees is over here with a 30 degrees distance, one, two, three, and we can see the height at the view top over here with the story one, and one, two, three. Cylindrical coordinates are very helpful for constructions such as tanks, shells, or any other circular shape according to the intended projects. Now, regarding to the arbitrary option, we have an array of types. This is the line, segment, and semi-line. With the first one, you can build a straight line beyond to the selected coordinates. For example, we can set a triple zero and five for x, five for y, and zero for z or height. Add, apply. And you will see the axis, both coordinates, 0, right here, and 5, 5, is right here. I mean the first point and the second one. Okay, segment type just draws an axis between the two points. Let's delete over here, change to segment, and we'll use the, the same triple zero for the coordinates. Uh, zero, zero, and zero again. Okay, add and apply. Check dynamic coordinates over here, and you can see the coordinate zero, zero is over here, and five, five is over here. So here you are the segment. And finally, semi line just projects beyond of one of the points. Let's take the same example, the same coordinates, add, apply. Cartesian axis. Arbitrary option is going to be useful in those cases you'll need to draw non orthogonal Cartesian axis. Just like in this project. Let's take a bar to draw. Um, right here, over here, and finally, over here. It facilitates drawing of structural elements by object snap.